In this example, I need to solve the equation x raised to the two-thirds plus four times x raised to the one-third minus 21 equals zero. Well, what type of equation do we have here? Notice I have x raised to two different fractional exponents. It kind of looks like a mess right now, but this equation is in a specific format that will help us solve it. So quickly reviewing, remember the general form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And if we have an equation that's quadratic in form, that has the form of a times some quantity all squared plus b times the same quantity plus c equals zero. Well, do I have an equation that's quadratic in form? Well, let's look at the variable in the b term. I get x to the one-third. And what happens if I take that and square it? Do I get the first term in my equation? Well, when you have x to the one-third all squared, remember you multiply the two exponents and you get x to the two-thirds. So this equation is quadratic in form because I have a times x to the one-third all squared plus b times x to the one-third plus c equals zero. You could solve this equation now by directly factoring, but you'd have to have x to the one-third as the first term in each of your parentheses. That often gets confusing. So I think it's easier to do a u substitution and we let u equal the variable from the b term that is x to the one-third and then x to the two-thirds is just going to be u squared. So my equation becomes instead of x to the two-thirds, it's u squared plus four times x to the one-third is u minus 21 equals zero. Now this looks very familiar. It's an easy factoring. The coefficient of the u squared is a one. So I think we can do this fairly quickly. Multiply to a u squared. I need a u and a u. My two numbers multiply to a negative. That means I have to have opposite signs. Multiply to negative 21 and add to 4. After a little bit of thought, it becomes 7 and 3, with the 7 being the positive and the 3 being the negative. So now, two factors multiplied together equal 0. Set each of them equal to 0. So u plus 7 equals 0, and u minus 3 equals 0. Simple linear equations, subtract 7 from both sides, u equals negative 7. Second one, add 3 to both sides, u equals positive 3. Be careful, you can't stop here. You found u, but the problem wants to know what x is. So you have to substitute in what x equals for u. So instead of u, you're going to have x to the one third equals negative 7 and x to the one-third equals positive 3. Remember the one-third is a cube root. How do you undo that? You cube both sides. So this first equation I'm going to cube both sides and remember x raised to the one-third raised to the third power. You multiply these two exponents you get 3 over 3 which is 1. So x to the first power is just x equals negative 7 cubed. Well, three negatives multiplied together gives a negative. 7 times 7 is 49 times 7 is 343. And the next one where you have x to the one third equals 3. Again, cube both sides and you get x equals 3 cubed equals 27. Do we have to check these answers for extraneous solutions? 
In this case, no, as long as the denominators of the fractional exponents are odd numbers, you do not have to check for extraneous solutions. So our two solutions are x equals negative 343 and x equals 27. 